guys, what is up and welcome back to another video of In Collaboration. JDS Gaming Z here and today I'm going to be joining you with the one and only Moi GMS. Yeah, because no one wants to collaborate with me. They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. So I want to thank everyone for 10,000 subscribers because it has really been a journey for me reaching this milestone and also for you guys. So yeah, and before we cut this cake, Moi GMS, do you have any words to say? Yes, I have something to say. Go ahead. I'm honored to be here with JDS Gaming Z to induct in this moment because it's a huge milestone yet yet. You guys bro. Thanks. Also, I almost forgot to mention that Moi GMS here is about to hit a thousand subs. So it'll be cool if you go check him out. Link is in the description. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's go light this cake up. So right now we're done unboxing both of the drones. As you can see right here we have the $100 drone and on the side we have the $200 drone. So we're GMS, take it away. So first off, let's check out the $100 drone. This drone took exactly 13 days to arrive. Let's check out the contents. Firstly here, we have the barcodes for your phone and we have the instruction manual. Here we have the propeller protector, two extra propellers, one battery charger and screwdriver. We have two batteries on the side and one included inside the drone. So in total, three batteries. So guys, let's check out the $200 drone. This $200 drone arrived in exactly 15 days, which is two days more than the other drone. Let's look at the contents. Firstly, we have the charger and two extra propellers here with the screwdriver. We have two batteries on the side, which look really high tech. I'm expecting a lot from this. And obviously one included, in total three batteries. There are propeller protectors here, which are four for four propellers, an instruction manual and a barcode scanner. Also guys, I forgot to mention something. None of these drones come with the transmitter batteries, which are AA batteries. As always, we got it covered. Let me show you where the battery is. It's in a battery compartment. You have to slide it open like this and then flip it over. Then it comes unplugged or else it's gonna drain away all the battery. You have to plug it back in. So this is where the third battery is, right? Then you have to pop it back up. There's a button in the middle you can see here. You have to press it. You can see the light starts blinking. That means you need your transmitter. So here's the transmitter. So now this transmitter's battery compartment was really hard to open, so it was stuck. I had to crack it open. It's open. We need the AA batteries. We need exactly three batteries. So guys, let's open the drone's leg. Just gonna click open. Let's see if it works. You can't really see it from the camera, but when the light is blinking, that means it's not connected. You have to pull the joystick up and down. So now it should be stable. There shouldn't be any blinking. That means the drone is connected. And let's try it out. Might be catastrophic. So guys, for the second drone, this one doesn't really have a battery compartment, just like this. So as you can see, it already comes plugged in. You just have to press this button. You just keep holding it for some seconds. It's gonna start blinking. That means, again, we need the transmitter. So this is the transmitter for the second drone. For this transmitter, I already screwed it open. You have to screw it open. There's a screw. This one also, we need three batteries. Let's try it out. Alright guys, we're done unboxing the drones. As you can see, we have switched location. Right now we're at the testing ground. So we're gonna conduct some tests with these drones, test out their capability and their limit. For the measurement test, let's start off with the $100 drone. So as you can see, it's about 14 centimeters long, which is 5.5 inches. So here's the $200 drone. It's about 13 centimeters long or five inches. Next up, we have the weight test. So as you can see, it's 91 gram, 3.2 ounces, or 0.2 pounds. So here's the $200 drone. As you can see, it weighs 114 grams, 4.02 ounces, or 0.251 pounds. 
Here's the light test. As always, we're starting with the $100 drone. As you can see, we have two LED bulbs right here. We're gonna be comparing it with the iPhone 6. So here's how it's like. Here's the $200 drone. For this one, there's a different light. Here we have the UV light, which is pretty interesting. And we're gonna compare the brightness with the iPhone 6. So here's how it is. Alright guys, now we are at the camera test with the $100 drone as always. It claims to be 4K, so this is how it is. I'll get to it more later in the montage, so stay tuned. Here's the $200 drone. So that's how it is. This is the control difficulty test for the $100 drone. I do recommend this for beginner as it is pretty easy to learn. I only learned this in about three days, I would say. And yeah, it's kind of stable as you can see. Oops, there we go. So I'm just gonna land. Here's the control difficulty test for the $200 drone. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so yeah, I do not recommend this for beginners. It is really hard to drive and it's really strong. So yeah, it is much more stable. I'm just gonna land it right now, slowly. So here's the speed test. We have put down this long measurement tape, which is 10 meters long or 33 feet. We're gonna be traveling from that black box to the other black box with the drone. Also, we're gonna use the timer to calculate the speed of the drone. As always, let's start off with the $100 drone. So here's the $200 drone. This is the altitude test for the $100 drone. So as you can see, the drone is actually going pretty high up in the sky. We don't actually know the exact maximum height, but it seems pretty high, especially for this price point that we bought it for. No, the wind is actually pretty strong right now or is it the connectivity between the radio control and the drone? I have no idea. It is not responding. It is actually a little, but it's losing its connection. Oh my goodness. And also, we might have lost the drone. Let's just be optimistic here and let's have some hope on finding this drone. See you guys later. One eternity later. Well, I think this is it. I hate to break it to you guys, but we've officially lost this $200 drone. So if you guys don't see me uploading anymore within this year, then this is it guys. I don't know if Mui GMS is gonna come with me, but if not, then that means that Mui GMS is gonna be taking over my channel. Officially. Until the day of my release, I will be back. back. So I think the $100 drone is actually out of battery right now. Um, let me just see what... Oh, wow. Yep, as you can see, I'm actually trying different buttons. It's on. Let me just show you. Nothing works at all. The calibration works. But technically, nothing happens. That's it for the $100 drone. But don't worry, we have a backup for it. So let's go. Right now, let's test the acrobatic skills.
there are some common issues with it like for example this as you can see the drone's right front propeller isn't working so here's how you fix it first obviously you gotta turn it off sometimes the motor gears come out of place that's why it's like that on this propeller so you gotta press it down if it doesn't work then you gotta go to the harder surface so once you're done it should be working Here's another issue many people encountered with. It really isn't a problem, but some people might find it annoying. So here's how to fix it. Let me just show you how it sounds like first. As you can see guys, these things should be open up widely. If there's anything bent like this, due to maybe following the drone a lot, it will create that pebble sound as these two propellers touch. As you can see, the scratches with mate. So yeah, that is the two common problems that we've encountered so far and that's how you actually troubleshoot it. I hope you find it helpful. Alright guys, I think this drone might be completely dead right now. As you can see, the switch isn't working at all. I'm tapping. The light should be turning off, but it isn't responding. I think the system is malfunctioned due to the amount of salt concentration that are in, inside the motherboard. The interesting thing is that this drone kind of survives after dropping in the salt water, which is pretty amazing. The problem that makes this drone really risky is its propeller, not all of them works the way it should be. So yeah, like I mentioned previously when I talked about the common issues this drone has, it's still the drone's right propeller, it isn't really secured inside its base. As the drone is flying, the loose propeller came out and that explains why the drone flipped. I don't think that you can fly this drone immediately right after it dropped in the ocean. It might work after a little more days. But you're gonna have to open up the drone with a screwdriver and clean up the salt on the motherboard. Oh, the light just turned off. The battery probably just ran out. Anyways, it has really been fun testing out this drone. I'm gonna conclude the video right now. I mean, for a budget drone, I do not expect that much. The $100 drone is way better than the $200 drone. You know, sometimes there are some stuff that are cheap and good. I'm sorry to say this, but guys, if you're a beginner, please do not buy from Global Drone. It is not a beginner drone. It is not easy to handle. And it really isn't worth it comparing to the $100 drone. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video 25 likes and i'll drop another video of in collaboration once again thank you all for 10,000 subscribers i still couldn't believe i hit this milestone and i just can't express how grateful i am right now thank you all stay safe stay healthy take care i'll see you guys on the next video peace out It's gone. It's okay. It's okay. It's all. Oh, 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 oh. Did I get that on camera? <laughs>